Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Resilience with your host, me, Wintertooth100. And today we are starting off with this stupid project again. But before we get to that, be sure to check out the links below. Check out Joe and Yshy, and we have a new member on the server. I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher his name. In fact, I, I can't pronounce it without without looking at it. El Elokibu, Elokibu. <laughs> we have a new member on the server, Elokibu, who also now posts videos, or at least, you know, that's the plan anyway. He just joined the server at like 3 a.m., which was that's a little over 12 hours ago. And so we'll keep an eye out for that. I'll be sure to include his information in the description below as well. So be sure to check out all those members of the server if you want to see different perspectives of things going on. Also be sure to uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and most importantly that notification bell because that'll let you know when I have uploaded a video, which is, here's a hint, every single day. <laughs> Except Sunday. Sunday I do a live stream. Alright, let's uh, let's go back into my, my, my shame here. I was sad that this farm wasn't working very well and it's still not the greatest but I have improved it a little bit if we go down here to the bottom and we're real quick and careful we can get some of these guys to drop it's it's very laggy yeah look at all those skeletons but we really want to make sure we we get those blazes I swapped out the fence for glass because the blaze were able to get that little bit of block pushed over and they weren't, or they were still able to attack me. So you see, the improvement of this farm has gone way up. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm happy enough with it that I'm definitely not going to mess with it anymore. I'm definitely ashamed of how much work I had to put into this thing to get it to this point. And no skulls. So it hasn't been up and running for that long. Uh, I have managed to get two skulls from it, which is a nice little bump from where we were. But let's try to get to a place where we can... You can see some slabage right there. Let's try to get to a place where we can see all this. I should have brought... I do got brought blocks. It is ridiculous. I went through so many resources, had to repair my tool, tools. I guess I got two pickaxes so many times. There's Joe. And... I've just been back and forth like this project I did not I didn't even have plans to be here today and yet here I am all right we're gonna pillar up and hope we don't get blown up by a ghast but yeah, you really can't I got all of up there let's keep going I got feather falling <laughs> this shouldn't die if I fall we got all this I made a big square you can see I got the rest of the fortress I even got down below, so all the spaces in the same square, I maintain a square. The only exceptions that break out of the square are these bits of the fortress that run out, and uh, every, but everything else is, is perfectly in a square. Uh, it goes pretty decent ways that way, but I've sort of blocked myself in, so I can't get over there easily, but it goes quite a distance out that way too. And this is not the project I wanted to work on today. So I'm going to grind here for a little bit. We're going to, we are going to get our value from this farm, dang it. And I will see you guys back at the castle. I got some great news. And that great news is I've added a handful of new custom crafting recipes. That requires the kelp block. And of course we don't have enough. We're shy. <laughs> okay. We have more over here. I've been working on a super smelter, which isn't as super as I originally hoped it would be, but it's not bad. It goes right here in our, ooh, <laughs> okay. That's pretty great. It goes right here in our booty chest. We have the fuel chest, the burnables chest, but I really like the booty chest because that's where we get all the good stuff. Wow. Okay, there's no, there's no backup of things though, but. Okay, good, we're, we're doing pretty well. Nothing backed up. The burnables chest must be out. Yeah. And so it's a fuel chest. That was quick. All right. So I've added some custom crafting recipes. Uh, this is set up so if uh, if you've picked up, if you've where are they? Aha! Uh -huh. If you've touched these, you can craft these. So we have these now, and of course it's not going to show up here until we do it. But it's the same recipe for all of them for their colors. Rose red will give us the red ones. 
the pink ones will give us the brain ones. These are the most important to us. Uh, I believe it's... I made them, so but... <laughs> uh, lapis is for the blue ones. Uh, dandelion for this one, and the magenta. Not purple, but magenta for the bubble ones. So, again, if you've touched these, you can now craft them. So, we are going to be able to make a whole heck of a lot more walls using this uh, brain block because now we can make them. So that's super exciting. And it's super exciting because I have finally designed the towers to go with our walls and they also use the brain. So <laughs> that's always fun to say. It feels so weird to me to just refer to it as the brain. But I'm gonna do a mock-up tower right here uh, so we have something to reference. Uh, it is a 5x5 five five with stairs on either side of it. So we're going to just make a quick 5x5 five five out of stone. And the sides that will be visible to uh, the front and back, so like along this line, will be the wall. So just for quick reference, I'll just throw this in here. But this is where the wall would be, is on, you know, somewhere along this side. So the front and back have the stair on them. And these are 12 blocks in height, so we're going to take some fall damage building this, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That makes us slightly taller than the walls, which is great. These are the towers after all. And we're just going to connect this up real quick and bring up all of the pillars. Alright, once we've got the pillars in, I'm sure a few of you are already in the comments going, Hey, that was a 2x2 two two up there, not a 3x3. Three three. <laughs> I fixed it. I fixed it. So in all of these corners, even the ones with the walls, we're going to put uh, the same face. Even again, even with the walls, just in case parts of it are visible. Uh, the most tedious parts, I think, are going to be this. So we have to place the blocks in, break one of them out, so we can place that one incorrectly, and then break that one out. <laughs> it's a little tedious, and we have to do it on each of the sides for every tower we include. And, if you watched the last episode, or perhaps the episode before, you'll recall that in a section of the build that I was looking at, I counted over 20 towers, so, oops, perfectly fine, because then we just place that in like that, and again on this side, break that out, and now that we're in the middle and we got these kind of figured out, the next step, we want to be careful with our brain. <laughs> we don't want to waste it if we don't have to. That means the bottom section of this will not be filled in. That's a waste of brain. You're not going to see it. There's no point in putting it there. But we're going to essentially fill this in. You can see why we're going to need a lot, of, a lot of the brain. Because if there's going to be over 20 towers and I have to fill them in with this, that is a lot of brain. And I just like saying brain. It just, it sounds so funny. Uh, well, let's, here we go, yeah. Once we get close to the top, we're going to take our stairs, and we are just going to pop these in on each side, and that's almost it for the face decorations of it. There's a little bit still down at the bottom, but we'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, we're going to just finish filling this in. Okay, now that we're at the top, I'm going to click over to my next picture so I get a better view of the upper half. There we go. All right. So we have to determine which side's going to be the outward facing side, which one's going to be the inward facing side, because uh, they kind of mirror each other with these stairs, and the sides get one weird stair like that. And of course I didn't bring enough stairs and I don't have a crafting table with me. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, we're back up here, we'll finish placing these in, and based on my image it looks like we just fill these in with normal blocks and we'll just keep the nerd pole here so we can use it to get back down and I can see from this point okay all the nerd blocks for we only have one nerd pole way to go winter this is not so it's not a nerd castle I mean it is a nerd castle but it's only a nerd castle because a nerd lives in it and that's me but we're gonna come through we're gonna put in upside down stairs and we want them to be in the same direction as the stair that it is above. Great. 
And once we have these, then we're going to go to each of the corners and come up four blocks. And then there's a little bit of design with more coral. Uh, there's a little caveat to this tower. Uh, it is supposed to be circular. And I built several circular towers and they all looked really bad. So uh, I built a tower that I thought was going to look good and this is what I settled on. And I hope you guys like it. Okay, great. Once we get there, we do have a few wasted blocks here, but they're stone bricks, so I'm not as concerned. We need them to place in the stairs on the outside appropriately with them. And we don't want to waste our brain, essentially. You never want to waste your brain, kids. Never waste your brain. We're going to place an upside down stair on each of the stone bricks. And this can be a little tedious, but that's why I'm doing it with you on camera in survival mode, not creative mode, to show you that these things are indeed buildable. They're not that they're not that difficult. They're just more time consuming than anything. But if there's anything I'm happy to do in this game, it's spend the time to make sure something looks good. And I ran out again. But this time I remembered to bring the crafting table. Alright, once we got the stairs on each of them, we're going to put another block on top of each of the upside down stair. Ooh, I almost just jumped right there for that. And then on top of each of these, there's going to be, uh, well, not each of them, each of these edge ones, there's going to be a normal stair. And then on each of the corners, there's going to be two upside down stairs on, again, these, these little corner bits. And they're going to face out in the same direction as these other stairs. They'll just be upside down. And once we have that, we're going to take normal bricks and we're going to put one on top of each of these steps, every other block. And then we're going to grab, we're going to need uh, the slabs. We're going to put a slab between each one of them and also a slab on top of each of the main pillar ones. All right, and that's basically it done. Right here on the top, between this top one, basically to these corners, we would fill these in with like a oak wood or possibly a spruce. I like oak best with it, uh, and that's to give it its its uh, flooring up there, because uh, these, in, at the end of the day, are supposed to be manable, and so we want to be able to have our troops be able to get it up there. But so we have the normal wall, and I can see something we did forget. All right, and that is the wall done, or the tower done. So we have the wall, and it looks like that. And so right next to it, we have the tower. Trust me, I know, I've, I've looked at this close up before a lot, and I kept thinking to myself, eee, I'm not sure if I like that. But when I decided to mirror the wall in the test world, and have a tower on each side, and I took a look at this from a distance, then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, ho oh, oh, ho, wait a minute. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. And, oh man, yeah, I just I just like staring at it. Since this is gonna be that kind of build where uh, there's so much going on, having these individual towers, uh, they're not gonna be the focal point of your, of your eye. Your, your eye's not gonna be drawn to these as much. Although that brain looks really good in there. Uh, also, it'll look, it'll look better when these walls are actually you know, right up against it. Um, I could have built it right next to it for you guys, but decided against that. So this, this line of stone right here against these walls actually comes out right here on this corner. So it meets up right against that edge. So just for your you know, just for your eyeballs sake, picture these walls like being right flush with these. And since we have this brain on this side, that means these walls actually have to be three blocks thick. And basically what that tells us, if I can just finish placing these blocks, you silly old bear. There we go. If these are three blocks thick, then that means going up against these towers. Let's go to the other side so we can see better. Going up against these towers. And that's the thickness of our wall right there. So this entire section right here can become hidden 
And in those cases where we know for sure that part of the tower is going to be hidden, we're going to go back in and we're going to steal the brain out from you know, the spaces that aren't going to be visible. But with that, let me check real quick to see how much time we have left in this episode. you guys could make sense of that time lapse um i made one fatal mistake <laughs> when i said that we were going to do a time lapse and that is that most of all of the towers that we could have done i did not yet design and all the ones that are that are already designed i cannot do yet because of the level of the terrain there still needs to be some terraforming done uh, let's go through what we can do. So I kind of, if you picture this, all these blocks down right now, it's kind of like clay. We are molding a castle out of this clay, and right now we're just kind of trying to find the shape of it. So we're just playing with the clay, trying to find what shape we want this to turn into. And, uh, so down here, this is probably, this one and that one are probably the only two we could actually build. <laughs> and be fairly confident in uh, and that's because we know that this is going to be the starting level for the ground like, right because it's we're gonna have a gatehouse right here it's gonna be fairly flat in here and then once we go out this way then oh I got kicked from the server I apologize it's 3 30 in the morning and this is where my internet starts to cut out on me uh, but anyway we come through the gatehouse right here and we this is where the, the terrain's gonna start moving upward. So we have two types of towers. We have the outer wall and we have the inner wall. The inner wall is like true towers. Like these things actually are a full roundness. They have a full towerness to them, just like that. These ones, however, on the outside are not full towers. They are more, I'm just gonna break this out for viewer's sake so you can kind of get a feel. They're more like that. They're like half towers and they're designed to just be like the round bits that come out from the straight walls uh, where the archers can kind of like hang out and keep post. Uh, these are the towers that we could do because they are built on rather level terrain all the way around the castle and all roughly at the same level and well I just don't have those designed yet plus there's some gaps in the, in, in the earth. So we can't quite do that. And again, the other ones, basically, apart from the first two, every other one's going to be higher up than this. So can't really do those at the moment. Um, thought we'd be able to do a lot more than that. So and my bad. I apologize. But I think that's going to be the end of today's video. I still need to upload tomorrow's video which goes live in an hour so i'm pretty confident i can get it up in time but that means i need to wrap this up right now so that's gonna be it for today guys leave a like if you liked subscribe if you haven't share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one